rearranging formula. This is one skill you need to learn uh, in algebra, which is found very difficult to students because they don't go through a process. Okay, so what does rearranging formula mean? So let me write a simple formula. Say 4x uh, plus y is equal to 15. Now this is a formula in terms of x and y. So here in some books they, they call this also making subject of a formula. Now suppose if suppose y is to be made the subject, we want to write this formula in terms of y. Or in other words, we want to write y is equal to something from this formula. So, well, how can I write? So, if you want to write y as the subject of this formula, the skill is, or the process is to make, to isolate y on one side and take the rest on the other side. So, I'm going to say, well, let me have y on the left hand side. This is your left hand side and this is your right hand side. Okay, so I'm going to basically, it's similar to equations. I'm going to take away 4x from this side. I want y on this side, so I'm going to take away 4x from this side. So I have to take 4x from this side. So making y the subject, this gets cancelled. So this is y is equal to 15 minus 4x. That's all. This is making y the subject. So I'll, I'm going to write whatever I want to make the subject in the bracket. So let me call this question one. So let's move on to the second question. Okay, what if you have say eight is equal to five m minus x minus x is a formula and you want to make m the subject. You want to write m as the subject of the formula. So I want to write m is equal to something. So well, I can see m, 5m here, and minus x here. So I'm going to first get rid of this minus five, sorry, minus x. So what can I do? How would I undo this negative x? Well, I had to do the opposite of that. So I'm going to add x to this side. So to add x to this side. Okay, so yeah, I wanted to think why am I taking away x? I'm why am I adding x to both sides first? So, okay, so I wanted to think for the, uh, about it yourself. So this and this gets canceled. So you've got 5m is equal to 8 plus x or x plus 8, doesn't matter, 8 plus x. Okay, now what should I do? I want to get rid of this phi. So this is phi times m, so the opposite of times is divided by. So I'm going to divide this side by phi, so you can divide this side by phi. And this gets cancelled, your phi and phi gets cancelled. So m is now the subject, so you can say m is equal to 8 plus x over 5, and that's the answer. Okay, I hope you have thought about why I did this first. The reason is, okay, to get to 8, what was, what, okay, so let me explain this in a different, so some of you may be having, why did I take away, uh, why did I uh, add x to both sides first, why didn't I divide by 5? The reason is, to get to 8, but the first thing, so to to write this equation in a in a you can say in a step way. So this is to get to eight. What did we do, do first? So the first thing that happened to m. So the first thing that was using bed mass. So you did you had to multiply m times phi. That's the first thing that happened. Okay, and second thing that was happened was you take away x. So this is the second thing, or this is the last thing, and that gives you 8. Okay, suppose, okay, if you don't understand this, so let me give you an example. Suppose if it is, say, 2 times 4 minus 3, what would you do first? Would you multiply first or take away first? You've got two operations here. This is multiplication and this is 
subtraction. So well, you have to multiply first and then take away. You can only first multiply. This is the first operation and this is the second operation. So only after you have multiplied, you can take away. So if you know bed mass, if you learn bed mass, you go well, you have to do eight minus three. So the first operation that happened was multiplication and the second operation that has happened is take uh, subtraction. So to undo it, what happened last has to be undone first. So take away was the last operation or minus was the last operation. So you have to undo that first. That's why I added x to both sides. Hopefully I've not confused you. So let me cancel this whole thing. Okay. Okay. Cancel. Let me. It's taking times. Okay. Thinking. Okay. Let me do one more question. If it is, say, 10 is equal to uh, 3xm minus minus t, and you want to make m the subject, you want to make m the subject, m is to be made the subject. So, well, the first thing that was happening or happened to get to 10 was to multiply this 3 and then you took away t to get to 10. So, let me write this again. So, 10 is equal to 3 times xm minus t. So, the last thing that happened was minus. You have to undo that first. So, I'm going to add t to both sides. I'm going to add t to both sides. So this gets cancelled. So what is remaining is 3xm is equal to 10 plus t. And now I want to get rid of this 3 times x. Okay, so this is 3 times x. So that's multiplication. So you undo by dividing. So this is 3x dividing by 3x. So your 3x and 3x gets cancelled. So you can say 10 plus t over 3x is equal to m. So I've made m the subject. Okay, so let me take, so this is the third example, so let me do a fourth one. Let me make it a bit challenging. Okay, what if you have a squared plus b squared <coughs> is equal to 10. And I want to make a the subject. I want to make a the subject. Okay, well, I want to, I can take away b squared from both sides. So taking away b squared from both sides, you have got <coughs> Excuse me. So this gets cancelled. So this is a squared is equal to 10 minus b squared. Now I want to get rid of this squared. So what's the opposite of squared? Well, you have to take square root. So I'm going to take square root of this side. So you have to take square root of the other side. 10 minus b squared. Now this is a number. And as it's a number, you should always put plus or minus. 10 minus b squared, there are two answers here. If you only put, if you don't do this, this is right, but this is only 50% right. So a, square and square root cancel each other out. So a is plus or minus. This is a full answer, a complete answer. 10 minus b squared. Okay, so let me do a few more. Okay, what if you have, this is a well-known formula, A, area of a circle, is pi times r squared. And you want to make r the subject. Well, this is pi, which is a number, times r squared. So what can I do to get rid of this pi? So I'm going to divide this by pi. So you have to divide this side by pi. So you can see, a over pi, a divided by pi, 
is equal to r squared. Now, you have to take the square root to get rid of the square. So I'm going to take square root of this side. You have to take square root of this side. Okay, now radius cannot be negative. You can put plus or minus. Radius can be negative. Uh, you learn radius can be negative technically. But yeah, for year 11, this is enough. As you know, radius is a positive number. You don't need to put negative. But even if you put plus or minus, that's not wrong. So R is square root of A over pi. That's the answer. Okay. So let me finish off with one last question. The volume of a cylinder or of a sphere is given by this formula, 4 over 3 pi r cube. This would be an excellent question. Okay, 4 over 3 pi r cube. I want to make r the subject again, r the subject. So, well, what I'm going to do, I want to get rid of this 4 over 3. So, what can I do? Let me write like this and let, leave a space 4 over 3. So, I can write this. Okay, let me do in one step. So, this same thing can be written as 4 pi r cube over 3. This and this are the same. So I want to get rid of this whole expression which is a number 4 pi divided by 3. How can I get rid of that? Okay, so well I'm going to multiply this side by 3 over 4 pi. I'm going to multiply this side by 3 over 4 pi. Why? Your 3 and 3 gets cancelled, 4 pi and 4 pi gets cancelled. But if I multiply this side by 3 over 4 pi, I have to do the same thing on this side. 3 over 4 pi. Okay, so here you got 3v. This is v over 1. So 3 times v is 3v over 4 pi is equal to r cube. Okay, now I want to get rid of this r cube. So, to undo that, you have to take cube root of r cube. So, if you take cube root of this side, you have to take cube root of this side. This is the cube root. Okay, now for those who don't know cube root, say 2 cube is 8. Which implies or which means, you can say cube root of 8 is equal to 2. Okay, because see, if 2 squared is 4, this implies, or that means, square root of 4 is 2. You know this. The same logic is here. 2 cube is 8. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So, cube root of 2 is, sorry, cube root of 8 is 2. So, to remove the cube, you have to take cube root. Cube root cancels the cube. So, your final answer would be R is equal to cube root, you write a 3 under this umbrella, okay, cube root of 3v over 4 pi is your final answer.